Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a rare case that is teratoma with malignant transformation. This patient recently came to our department for ultrasound and CT scan, so I will share my experience with you. A 13 years old unmarried female patient came with gradual abdominal distension and abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. You can see the right hypochondriac region shows a huge amount of peritoneal collection. The liver, gallbladder and right kidney look normal. You can see the small intestinal loops are floating within the ascitic fluid. So here's the picture of the gallbladder with liver and right kidney. You can see a huge amount of peritoneal collection. This is the picture of a small intestine floating within the ascitic fluid. Here you can see a predominantly solid well-defined mass at the pelvic region which is multiloculated. And you can see multiple cystic spaces within this lesion. You can also see a sound attenuating hyperechogenic area within the lesion. This area is not casting posterior acoustic shadow. This is possibly the fat contained. Here is also a calcified area casting posterior acoustic shadow within the mass. This fat and calcified area containing mass is possibly a teratoma. So here is the lesion and you can see the solid and cystic components. Here is the calcified area casting posterior acoustic shadow very tiny from this part. Now let's see what we get on color Doppler. Usually teratum is a benign condition and should not show any significant vascularity. When we put the color Doppler we can see a huge vascular flow within the lesion. So here's the lesion and when we put the color Doppler, you can see a very good amount of vascularity within the lesion. The PRF was high so you can't see small vessels here. Only the larger vessels are visualized from this view. So again the lesion. And when we make the PRF low, then we can see a huge amount of vascularity within the lesion, which was getting missed due to high PRF setting. Now let's check what is the measurement from the spectral Doppler. The spectral Doppler shows the prominent artery is from the ovarian origin because the wave pattern shows a good diastolic flow without any early diastolic notch which is present at the uterine branch. If you see the wave, you can see the resistive index is 0.34. We know that if the adnexal mass has less than 0.4 RI, it indicates that the mass is possibly of malignant nature. This is making a confusion here because the dermoid should not get this amount of vascularity. So possibly this lesion is getting malignant transformation. Here is the transverse section picture of the pelvic region showing the transverse section of the uterus. This is the section of right ovary and you can see huge amount of collection. 
and he is a glimpse of the mass which when we try to scan was coming from the left adnexa. We couldn't see the left ovary separately. Let's see on real time. So here's the floating right ovary and uterus. You can see a glimpse of the mass. Now check the continuation of the mass with the left adnexa. So here's the mass. It is arising from the left adnexa. Left ovary is not separately visualized. So lastly, here is the view again of the mass slation with predominant solid component and fat content, also some calcified areas and cystic areas within it. And also increase internal vascularity. So here's the picture of the lesion and you can see the calcified areas better here. The approximate measurement was around 16 cm by 11 cm on ultrasound and CT scan shows quite similar. Now let's see what we have seen on CT scan. These are the pictures collected from the film so don't expect very good quality here. This is a non-contrast CT scan and you can see a huge amount of peritoneal collection. There is an irregular multiloculated mass and in non-contrast you can see a fat density here and a calcified area also which suggests this is a dermoid. When we put the contrast, this is the RTL phase showing increased amount of uptake within the lesion which highly suggests the malignant transformation of the dermoid. The malignant transformation of dermoid is quite rare and here is the case. So in summary, a fairly large irregular multiloculated heterogeneous predominantly solid mass of possibly left adnexal origin with internal anechoic cystic spaces, ecogenic sound attenuating fatty components and ecogenic calcific foci casting posterior acoustic shadows is noted at the pelvic region extending up to the umbilical region. Color Doppler shows increased internal vascularity. Low resistant flow of ovarian arterial origin is noted within the lesion. The right ovary appears normal but the left one could not be separately visualized. A huge peritoneal collection is noted. So our diagnosis was a teratoma with malignant transformation. Now the take home message. Color Doppler is a useful tool to evaluate the adnexal lesions especially when you need to make a decision between benign and malignant tumors. Low resistant flow within an adnexal mass especially RI below 0.4 is an important finding in malignancy. Teratoma with increased internal flow with ascites goes in favor of malignant transformation, which is actually a rare condition. Thank you for watching. Please comment below about the case. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.